I noticed something interesting. We did two episodes from Las Vegas. And of course, uh, I was on my laptop, which is an M2 uh, MacBook Air. So plenty with, with, you know, 24 gigs of RAM or something, because that was what was available the day I had to buy a laptop since, you know, we had all those computers blow up with lightning uh, over the summer. And yet the first episode that we recorded, as soon as I opened up uh, Chrome, which is what we use here to connect to StreamYard, which is the engine that that connects our voices to each other, but also does video. My, my video was stuttering. My computer, my CPU was pegged and it was like, what's going on? This is sort of at least a more powerful machine than the Mac studio I have in the studio. Cause this is an M one max. Like it, it's at least on par with it. It, it should be able to rock and roll here. What's going on. And, uh, Finally got it to sort of settle down and we were able to record the episode. My video stuttered a little bit, but fine, whatever. And uh, the next day I was using Ecamm Live to do some of the the locally recorded videos that, that we put out on our YouTube YouTube channel. And I was noticing at times that it was stuttering there too. I'm like, what is going on? Like, th this shouldn't happen. I, w I wasn't even using an external camera I was using the Max built-in camera because I forgot to bring a stand for my continuity camera thing. And it was just driving me crazy. And then, you know, walking around the show floor, there's always these things like, you know, percolating in the back of my head. And I said to Pete, I'm like, wait a minute. I have my laptop set to go into low power mode when on battery. And the way we had things set up in our uh, like suite, we had like two bedrooms and a living room. And in the living room, there was a, uh, you know, the common room, essentially there was a, a table where we had our computer set up no this power at the table, <laughs> but there was no power at the table. So we would charge up our laptops elsewhere and then, you know, just work at the table. Cause it was nice to have like a big work surface that we could, we could be at. And that's fine. You know, the, the Apple Silicon Macs hold their charge quite well, but you know, I had an external monitor plugged in, which uses some GPU ish stuff. And then, of course, I was using my camera and streaming video, which uses some GPU-ish stuff. And I thought, oh, well, wait a minute. And so that day when I got back, I just plugged my Mac in and, you know, I, I strung like a series of cables across the floor, really unsafe. Uh, thankfully, neither one of us tripped all over it in the middle of the night <laughs> or something. Uh, but, you, you know, it, and then it was fine. I thought, OK. And then I tried it with turning off that low power mode when on battery option, which is in system settings battery on your laptop. And the problem totally went away. So low power mode can cause you some problems in terms of the performance of your Mac, or at least anecdotally based on my one test case, it caused me some problems. So just be aware of that. I had forgotten all about that low power mode thing and that's the reason it just didn't spring to mind as soon as I started having those issues. But again, you know, kind of walking around, it's like, well, there is one difference between the Mac and my studio and the Mac on this table here. And that's that this, this one doesn't have power applied.